Hello Trophy Hunter and welcome to a game called Tohu. This is very beautiful point and click style game with amazing art style. To get the platinum in this game you will need around two and a half hours, maybe more depending how much you follow me. There is no chapter select, so a lot of things are missable, but if you follow this guide you can get everything in a single playthrough. For collectibles, I will leave a timestamps in description so you can see every collectible and every conversation and also find it very easy. Game comes in one stack at a price of $15. Let's start with the guide. Just before we start this video I just want to say that I will now do a complete playthrough of this game, that means with every story spoiler possible and also all puzzle solutions. So if you want to avoid that, if you want to do puzzles by yourself, please uh, try to avoid this video or try to avoid those sections. So we are going to start with the first cutscene and after that we are going for our first uh, trophy in the game. And just a little bit uh, heads up for Xbox players if they follow me. Uh, we have a platinum trophy on PS4, but the developer also made an extra trophy for Xbox players. Uh, when you are on the main menu, just select credits and you will have your first achievement. So right here we want to click on those arm on this arm on the table and we get our first trophy in the game. After that click on the radio. Now the box has fallen on the dog. We can transform this girl into cubus and cubus can lift heavy objects. Just go through the tutorial to learn the basics of the game. Lift the box. Now talk to the creature uh, on the door. Now we are going to go to a first area in the game. We can call it our home. Finish the dialogue. Uh, one of the two biggest trophies in the game uh, are that we need to talk to every possible person in this game and uh, uh, click on every possible creature in this game. So always when you are on scene in the game uh, try to click on every creature that you can see on your screen. I will also guide you, but just a little bit reminder. Now pick up this stone. Uh, this is all exactly a tablet. You can always click uh, on that tablet and you can see your main task for now. Now click on this snail here. After that click on the bird and you will get your first card. Now we want to click on those two mushrooms or bugs above the chimney. We got our second trophy. Now click on every creature that you can see on the, on the screen and go to the left. Now here, here interact twice with the mice up, up ahead for another trophy. Now click on the creature on the tree or lamp. Interact with this uh, lamp here or switch, maybe switch. Now you need to turn yourself into, uh, into a robot and you need to pick the red pipe and put it on the machine.
Now again, pick the weight on the right side with Cubus. And again, put it on the machine. Now interact with the crab that you have freed on this right side for another card and pick up the jewel, I think, that has uh, fallen from the machine. Now go all the way to the right and you will have a small tutorial how to uh, take things from your bag and interact with the things on the screen. So just open the backpack and now drag the item to the exact spot. So for the next puzzle, just watch, uh, watch uh, which switches did I push. So number two first. Then next number four. And then number one. As you can see on the right side, you, have no you now have a bridge, which you can cross and go all the way to the right. Now we have a little bit of puzzle here, I will explain as we go. First, uh, just interact with the creature on the right side to get another card. Try to interact with all creatures on the screen. And you can now uh, deflower this flower, If I, I think I can say it like that. Just uh, uh, you need to discover the chopper. Now, those bees are going to go on each stick of this chopper. So you need to interact with this robot in the middle of the screen. Now, pull this uh, right side all the way to the right. And with this arrow, you need to aim for the bees. So now we automatically aimed for the first bee. And as you can see, she came on the first uh, branch. Now, uh, you need to uh, point with your arrow all the way to the right. As you can see on the tree, there is a little bit switch that we need to hit with the rock. Now we got it. We got three out of four. And uh, for the next part, I didn't see it clearly. I thought uh, this bug was uh, needed, but exactly the bee uh, you can see only her wings on the creature that is moving in the background. So you can just, uh, as you can see here, now I am uh, aiming straight for the B on this creature to the left. And that will be uh, 4 out of 4 Bs and you will go to the next area. Now interact with the chopper and we will have a little bit cutscene, if I think.
if some if sometimes it will take me a while to say something uh, i'm uh, looking on my notes that i have written during the uh, first and second playthrough so i can make this guide as fast as possible for you So now you can, uh, we are officially in chapter 2 and uh, you can interact uh, already on the screen. So first what we need to do is uh, click on the creature on the left side to get our next card for the trophy. Now you need to change the girl into Cubus and pick up the jar. We need to get these five flies into the jar. So. Just click on the one up up above and the uh, cubus will catch it. Now, uh, as I am showing on the screen, this one is the wrong. You need to be on the exact spot. So go to the right and now click on the one above on the branch. Now go all the way to the mailbox and click on the one above. You can see 3 out of 5. Click on the one again below you. And now go all the way to the machine to the left. And you, you can see one bug inside of the grass. Click on him for 5 out of 5. Now you need to interact with uh, that uh, flower, I think, uh, that is hanging from the branch. And put the jar up on the flower. So this, uh, this discovered another puzzle for us. <clears throat> and this is also our next trophy that we are going to work on, a golden trophy. So interact with the switch immediately. Now select the second one, the middle one from the left and interact with the switch. Now again, just interact with the switch without switching any guys. Now switch to the third one. And then interact with the switch. Now switch to the colors as we have all blue colors uh, filled. Switch to the red. And interact with the switch. Now interact with the switch again. Now you need to change to the middle. Interact with the switch. Now change to the first one and now interact with the switch. Three times. If I once more and then once more. We already got the trophy as you can see. Uh, the solution is as you can see on those guys, I, I call them guys. There are arrows and those arrows uh, need to be adjusted to the uh, holes that are the same color and same uh, icon. So now interact with the robot hand. Here is a, a puzzle and um, I uh, didn't uh, remove it, I didn't fast it up. So you can just skip to the end to see exact solution uh, to the end, pardon me. I think two minutes. Uh, uh, in front of the this timeline 
uh, and you will see the exact solution and you can just follow so you don't need to wait me uh, what i'm doing and also a lot of puzzles uh, can be random i think that this one is not random it is the same for everyone but uh, some of them are random in this game and uh, i will try to explain uh, what you need to do uh, where you can find the solutions uh, so if you don't have the same puzzle with, uh, as I do, you can always follow the right solution for you. Okay, so we are done. Congratulations. Now the door will open. Change to the girl and interact with the door, the hole in the door. So here a couple of things that we need to do and also a couple of trophies that we will get here. So just uh, pay attention. Go through this dialogue. Uh, what I'm going to do in this walkthrough, uh, after this dialogue with this person, I am always going to click on it again. Just to be safe because you need to talk with every character in this, uh, in this game. So always click on it to be safe. Uh, and you don't need to repeat the game again if you do not want of course so talk to the guy in the middle previously we talked to the left with the guy to the left now interact with the creature on the right side as you can see for another card so now we are going to interact with the left side and get a piece of glass inside our bag and interact with the hole and you will see an arm 
uh, this will be important for later for now leave it be and go to all the way to the right now talk to the guy in the middle to the picture on the wall and just below him there is a piece of glass number two that you need to pick up continue to the right now uh, you need to go, uh, draw first drawer all the way to the up to the right all the way to the right and now the, uh, the lowest drawer to the middle you will now open the next uh, room next secret so go to the next room here uh, just interact with this creature beside this closet to just to be safe I'm not sure if, those, if it counts but uh, just to be safe uh, you must not be spotted by this owl so interact with the mouse on the floor and mouse will, will start going on the next side of the room and immediately interact with the glove in the middle now go all the way back to the first room that you came in where the hand was now for the next trophy go inside your bag equip the glove and try to uh, put the glove on the hand Renkavichka So go all the way to back. Go all the way to the room where the creature was beside, behind the closet. So now here is a small hole that you need to go inside. Now a couple of things here. Uh, interact with the with all the creatures in this room first just to be safe now go all the way to the left in the next room now uh, you need to turn yourself into a cubus interact with the board and put the board on the floor cross all the way interact with the pot and cross all the way to the middle and pick up the next piece of glass now again pick up the board and put it in front of you so you can go all the way and pick up the book so now turn into a little girl and go all the way without the board you need to fall in the hole for the next trophy great so now go all the way to the right and again interact with the hole Now you need to turn yourself uh, uh, and just uh, you can first uh, simply just uh, take uh, the watch I think uh, and interact with the exploding barrel. Now pick up the next piece of glass now interact with the glass pieces and you can just follow what I am doing here. Uh, what, which, which pieces did I pick and uh, which pieces did I rotate
So now when done, turn yourself into Cubus. You will see yourself a, a reflection. Now interact with the robot and with the pipe. Now interact with the book and give it to the Cubus. And then put the glove on Cubus. I think I'm calling it right Cubus, no. Uh, it will be uh, very shameful if I am butchering his name all the time. But okay, <laughs> I will just keep calling him Cubus. So now you need to wrestle with yourself and your uh, mirror self. After that you will get the trophy. I am, if I am right. No, we will get the eye that we need to go to the next area. Now turn yourself back into the girl, go through the hole and go all the way to the first area. So now open your, open your bag and give the eye to the creature in the middle. And now we need to feed that creature. So interact with the first stone in front of the creature. Interact with the third stone. Interact with the fourth one. And interact with the seventh, last one, pink. Now pick up the stone. You need to give that stone to the hand. And you will be able to go across to the next side. Or better said up. Now you will be upside down. Go all the way to the right as you can see my arrow. Now you have to go through a short tutorial how to climb on boxes. So just click on the box, then you see this arrow. Interact with the creature just above us to get another card. Go down and interact with the switch in front of the creature. Now interact with the lift or the doors however you want it. Uh, we need to pick this gas canister in front of us. And go all the way back. We need to go to the previous room. <coughs> Just Turn the switch again, so you have a light on the next side. Go all the way to the left. Now interact with this uh, scissor machine and give it an oil to keep it, to get it moving. Now pick up the scissors, or pliers, I think. Go all the way to the right. Now, you, uh, as you can see, there is a glowing flower on uh, on top of the box. Uh, we, need to, we need to go up and cut it with these scissors. Select the scissors from the bag. Pick it up and go all the way back, down. Interact with the switch. Go all 
interact with the lift. Now you need to get that flower inside of this spot on this right side, a uh, left side, pardon. Now interact with the lift and you need to push all this uh, all the way to the down this lever blue lever as you can see in front of the creature pull it down to light all the room now i was a little bit uh, messy in, in, in this section uh, just click on the picture to end this chapter but uh, not from this spot you need to go one step up Just wait un until the cutscene finishes. Having received the vital information from Genji, the girl heads to the Broker's home to find the hunt. So now we are in the next chapter. What you want to do again is again interact with the person uh, just to be sure that the numbers are correct and the, uh, the numbers are going correct to the trophy. Interact with the creature above the person for another card. Now interact with every creature on this screen just to be sure that, that you do not miss everything. Now you need to interact with this uh, automat. <laughs> uh, I think I am calling it correctly. Uh, you need to interact with it at least three times uh, as long as you do not get a hoodie that uh, you can hide. Now, so pick up the hoodie. And that is it for the automat now uh, you need to uh, sneak uh, behind that person uh, you do that when he is down in the bathtub and pick up the keys behind him as you can see now pick up the keys interact with them and after that go to the right so we are now in the next room uh, Interact with the creature that is uh, crawling around the room for the next card. Interact with this uh, ventilator. Uh, pick up all the way to the fire, uh, symbol with fire, and all the way to the tree, the highest one, to remove the rat from this spot. Now you need to go all the way to the right. Now 
Now pick up, uh, uh, you need to turn yourself into a cubus, pick up the stool. Now pick up the bowl on the left and uh, go all the way to the right and place it on the right side just below this bug here uh, just I uh, pardon me on this machine first and then below the bug and we need to get the bug inside of this bowl so just press a little bit spray here I think so he can get confused and goes in inside the bowl now pick up the bowl again and place it on the machine on the machine go all the way to the left you need to speak with that elephant that is also another person that counts for the trophy but first pick up the bowl and place it just in front of the elephant Now talk to elephant and then place the hood on the bow that will scare the elephant and he will go away. Now go all the way to the right, to the next room. Now turn your, yourself to Cubus and you need to interact with every bag in this room uh, to discover the, the room, the stage, better said. So now once you have discovered the stage, interact with the photo and place all the right things in the right places. First the note, then the mustaches, nose, of course eyebrows and eyes. When you do that, you will be ready to go to the stage down below you. So go to the right. Uh, there is no particular or order that you need to interact with those icons, but interact with every icon above the stage to proceed to the next area and get the, uh, the get the card to get the card ticket ticket. So now the ticket is all the way up, so go all the way to the right to be able to pick up the ticket, pick it up and leave the room. Go down. So now open your bag. Uh, use the wet ticket and uh, place it just below the dryer. And uh, it will dry it and this will be useful again. Uh, and your character will automatically pick it. So go left to go to the previous room. Now open your bag, use the keys and open the creature inside the cage. There are two trophies that we need to solve now. I am so showing you the first now. When you open the cage, first pick up the vase up above the cage that will be needed for the next room. Now interact with the siren on the bicycle. And now you will see that person is uh, going to catch him. You need to do that three times. 
you can just uh, do it all over, all over again however you want it or you can just follow the video you will do all the trophies simultaneously but in the next room there is a creature called samurai that has a yellow eye and you must not be, be caught by him when doing it properly but for the trophy you must get caught five times so we will just combine those two trophies uh, until we get them both just get seen samurai will kick you to, the, to another room then do the same thing open the cage again make him run and just continue continue doing it until you get the trophy Now that we have both trophies, we are doing the proper way uh, for uh, passing through the samurai. As you can see on the left side, first, uh, you can uh, let's start from the beginning. You need to pick up uh, this chair uh, with the cubus. So turn the girl into cubus, pick up the chair and place it just below Bioshock figurine. Nice, nice little easter egg. I think it is Bioshock, but okay. Uh, just jump with the girl and uh, she will avoid the samurai wait until the samurai passes drop down change to cubus pick up the chair again and uh, take it all the way to the left now normally in your inventory, uh, do not start doing anything, just turn yourself again in the girl and go all the way up. Normally in your inventory you will have a stool and two vases. As you can see already under the books there is my stool, that is because I have failed, but the game remembered what I did. So I will have in the inventory only two vases, but you will have two vases and a stool. You need to interact with the bag and put both vases and the, the stool under the books. And after that you need to go all the way up uh, on the highest book. I hope I was clear. So now you will see first phase and the second phase go all the way to the book. But always be safe uh, and uh, watch the samurai. Now go all the way up. You need that hot pepper. Now, let the samurai catch you.
because he will throw you to the next room. It is just easier that way. You won't lose that uh, pepper. So now go left again. You will see the grinder in front of you. Use the pepper from the bag and interact with the grinder. That will make uh, a hot pepper inside of his eye and he will drop a magnet. Pick up the magnet and now interact uh, with the magnet on the head of the Bioshock figurine with the right side, uh, left side, where is the green light. It will open the, the doors uh, and uh, you will get your third ticket. Pick up the ticket and go all the way to the right. So you now need to make this person again chase after the creature in the cage so open the cage because behind, behind this person there is a safe uh, you need to uh, put all three tickets inside this safe but uh, it is not possible to do it in single take so you will put two tickets and he will probably be back if he is back in your playthrough uh, as in mine just do all the things again you will have only one ticket and it will be just uh, a little bit more time. Now put the second ticket and you will see he is slowly coming back. The game did not accept my third ticket, I don't know why. So now just do the same thing again. Ignore the cyberpunk notification, it is not place or time for cyberpunk. Put the third ticket inside the safe. And pick up the golden hammer, I think, yes. So we are done with this chapter. If you are enjoying this game so far, if you are enjoying this walkthrough, I would kindly ask you if you can just uh, give a thumbs up on this video, it would help me a lot. Let's continue with another chapter. And we are back, interact with the snail on the right, talk to him, he is also the person that uh, counts towards the trophy. Now interact with the fork-like creature on the top of the tower for another card, interact with every possible creature on the screen for another trophy that you can uh, get on the end of the playthroughs. Now pick up the trumpet, all the way to the left on the little board there is going to be uh, there is going to be an item <laughs> and all the way to the left another item that you need to pick up i quickly managed to cover it up that i don't know exact word hmm? uh, so uh, now 
you need to go uh, you need to change yourself into cubus and interact with that metal plate just above the stairs to remove it and now uh, a little bit weird uh, controls but in the end uh, i managed to do it you need to uh, pick up the screw i think the screw in the middle and put it in, inside the first hole if you are as you can see i changed into the girl uh, not particular reason but i can see more better so put the screw into the first hole uh, i i didn't notice in that time uh, when it is in the right position it is glowing yellow so just pay attention trumpet is going in the second hole from the left screw to the first as you can see it glowed a little bit yellow now trumpet into the second and the last item all the way to the fourth hole so now interact with the pipe just above the snail Now snail will do a need for speed and we will be able to go all the way to the right. So in this area a lot of puzzles. First interact with the bug just above the frog. Then talk to the frog. First, as you you can do the same I, I'm doing, interact first with all the creatures on the screen. Now talk to frog. Now, uh, I didn't do it properly, but you just need to click on the bugs that are flying, uh, one bug that is flying uh, uh, here, as you can see it moves, and just click on it until uh, the frog removes that uh, flower from the item that we, that we need. And click on it last time so frog removed it and pick up pick up the item now you need to uh, interact with the item on the middle all the uh, three times the river must be red color now talk to the guy in the prison Now interact with the little hole to go just above. Pick up the item in front of you. Now interact with the stove, with the stove uh, to the right of you. Uh, so we will give him a wrong potion because we need to do it for the trophy. Just. Uh, do all the taps red yellow and blue push the pump three times and you will get the potion that you need to deliver to the guy in the prison now again with the hole interact open bag and give him uh, open bag and give him the wrong potion Oh yeah, pardon. Uh, 
we need to first uh, collect inside of that bottle the red color the water that will be crucial for the, for the later now we got the trophy overcooked give a wrong potion now we are going to do uh, we are going to give him the uh, right potion that he needs Just follow what I do on the screen. So now I did close the blue one and interacted with the pump. After that, turn off the fire, interact with the red one and turn on the blue one. Interact with the pump. And now for the last one, you need to close the yellow one, close the blue one and only open the red one without the fire, just press on the pump, that is the right potion. Now go all the way back and give to the man in the prison. Now he is gone, you can see the desired ingredients for the next potion that we need. So go all the way back to the stove and cook another potion. Blue, red and dark. So now open the blue one, close the red one and press once on the pump. Now close the blue one. Open the red one and uh, press uh, first put on the fire and then press pump. And for the black one, turn on the yellow one and turn on the blue one, press the pump. That is it. Now give the potion to this machine to the left now give the flower to the machine sometimes it won't interact properly and now give the red bottle with the red water also to the machine that will turn the elephant into a strong man and he'll crush everything giving us a pass to the right Me Hulk. So now, first, do not forget to talk to the snail to the left. That is also counting for the dialogue at the end. Then go all the way to the right. So, a short puzzle, first interact with the creature up above us for another card. Now, interact with every creature on the screen. Interact also with the snake. The creature in the middle under the glass, we need to free him. So just follow what I am doing with the spike here, uh, when I am clicking on it, so we can break the glass. Interact with the, with the far left first, then right, then right again, left, left again, right, and the glass is broken. He will give us a vase, pick up it, pick up the vase, sorry. Now. 
interact with the sign just below uh, behind you as you can see something has changed on the stone so interact with the maze a classic puzzle game and just lead the, uh, the ball inside the center of the puzzle biggest enemy is your uh, to you is uh, a little bit uh, weird controls but nothing too difficult so now you can see that there is on the stone another icon on the stone that is uh, going up and down interact with that stone to have another light up icon on the stone main stone now you need to go all the way up those vases now open your bag and put the vase all the way to the right in front of you that will scare the creature he will fall down and reveal you the next sign as you can see but i didn't see it very clearly so uh, a, li a little bit time will pass until i see it just below the creature you can see the same sign as on the stone okay Go all the way down. Interact with the stone, with the maze. This is going to finish our next chapter. So see you in the next one. With the discovery of the fractured totem, the girl flies to visit the illusionist to bargain for the first missing piece. So, after the cutscene, always be sure to once again speak to the person so we are just sure that everything counts for the right trophy <coughs> so this is the automatical dialogue click again on the person Now, after this, uh, you will see a creature sneaking up here, click on it, don't worry if you miss it, it will go again, just need to have a right timing. Also, click on every creature on the screen. Now, what you want to do, uh, not this one, but uh, from left to the right, we are going to do some puzzles, so we can proceed with the story. So uh, first talk with the crab on the left side, that is another person. Now interact with the left side tent. This is a, a bit of practice, uh, very easy game, uh, first round very easy, as you can see I already died, but uh, just switch holes left, right, left, right and you will have no problem. Second round, 
is almost the same, just a little quicker. Uh, and the third one around has some uh, 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 differences, but uh, just practice. If you just uh, die, you are not going back to round one, you are go going to the round that you have finished before. So if you die in round three, you will be in round three. And uh, yes, this was cut and edited. Uh, I did not do that perfectly, so <laughs> don't be under complex or anything. I was probably a lot, lot longer on at this section. So uh, in this section, after we have just passed uh, half game. Uh, after this, there are going to be a lot of harder puzzles. So on to the next one, so now just uh, watch what I am doing, uh, first from the left uh, you need to interact uh, with the second two times, interact with the last one two times, interact with the third two times, interact with the second one time and interact with the first one time. So to the last tent, nothing to explain here. Uh, just uh, use the spiral here and uh, as you can see you need to find the symbol uh, that symbol needs to be blue and uh, when you do that you will finish the puzzle and you need to do that three times Now that we are finished, you can see on the tents there are three different symbols. Uh, on the left side where the cannon is, uh, we need to put input those symbols in the right order. So just input the right icons. And 
and that will finish this chapter. So here comes probably the hardest uh, section in the game. I of course uh, did cut it uh, because you for sure didn't watch, uh, want to watch me 30 minutes uh, um, shooting into empty. I will explain it now very carefully what you need to do. Uh, first interact with that crab, crab like gramoph gramophone on the tree for another card. Uh, interact with the person in the mud so you can speak with it. Uh, in this section you need to build a bridge as you can see those two uh, bugs are carrying sticks interact with the flower and you will have a shooting stick as you can see you need to shoot them at the right moment to build a bridge i will now just show you skip to the right solution there is no solution you just need to pick the right moment and build a bridge you will see it in about a moment what you need to do uh, automatically uh, those last uh, sticks will be done uh, by story so uh, just take your time uh, and uh, to uh, have patience only uh, interact with the first carrot on the left then interact with the second carrot in the middle it is nothing very difficult but uh, controls are a little bit tricky to get in the right moment so now go all the way to the right. Now interact with any bird on the tree. But first you can interact with gramophone. And interact with every bird. Any bird. For, the, for another trophy. Sorry. Now interact with the, another carrot in the mud. And now interact with the mask inside the mud. We will need to wash it later. Now interact with another part of totem. And you will have a little cutscene. So basically the woman says uh, she needs a dragon but only she has uh, is this lizard. So to get this lizard to be a dragon first feed him all three carrots.
Now go all the way to the left. All the way to the left. So in this area, you need to go under the cold shower five times. And you will have another trophy. So now interact with the bell three times to get another card. It was hidden bug. Interact with the bamboo, bamboo stick and just follow what I am doing. You need to make a uh, river all the way. So interact with the first stick one time. Interact with the fourth stick one time. With the seventh interact one time. Now again with the 6th two times, with the last one, 11th interact two times, with 10th interact one time, now with the 5th interact two times, uh, three times, pardon. So now open your inventory and wash the mask. Go all the way back where the lizard was and the old grandma. Now interact with the board to the left of you. Now we need to build a gas mask so we can go through the fog. So just pick up the glasses and pick up the gas mask, uh, gas uh, filter. So we can uh, pick up the mask and go through the fog. So go all the way back to the fog. Continue going left. First you need to put on the mask and you will see the path will be clearer and just go inside the hole to go above the tree. When above the tree uh, you need to change yourself, yourself into the cubus, interact with the creature just to be careful and now uh, you need to tear down all those branches to get to the umbrella at the end. Interact with the umbrella. Once he falls, you will have another item that you need to pick up. And that is the last part that we need to build the dragon. Go all the way back where we build the gas mask. Put on the mask on the board again. Now Take down the gas filter and the glasses and put on the eyes and the dragon uh, nose. Create a mask and now give that mask to the dragon, uh, the lizard, pardon me, <laughs> and uh, give the umbrella to the lizard and uh, he will now magically fly. Very nice uh, move from very nice art style. He had a wings from Umbrella. And uh, 
yeah that is closing uh, our next chapter so see you in the next one There are a lot of things that we need to do in this chapter and a lot of trophies first after first dialogue again interact with the creature here just to be sure interact with every creature on the screen you will get another card So now you need to interact with the clock and uh, turn it uh, not clockwise, anti-clockwise. So you will go back to the past and this, will be, this thing we will be doing a lot in this chapter. Now talk to the guy to the, to the right. So the main thing that we need to do here is uh, first interact with the creatures on the floor and then uh, remove the uh, wheels or uh, items from the stone so uh, when we go back to the uh, present uh, the stone will be gone and you will be able to go left and also interact with that uh, item here so it can be straight interact with creatures and again interact with the clock and uh, move the uh, move the time forward now clockwise So now as you can see the stone has fallen and you can go all the way to the left. Now in this section uh, first interact with the first creature in front of you to the left for another card. Interact with every creature on the screen as always. But I do like to rem uh, remind you, so you don't miss anything. Interact with the first one to the left. And he will move his uh, thing uh, and scare the bird. Now talk to the guy upstairs. Now you can see on the left side there is a, a lollipop that we need for that girl later. Now uh, interact with this board here. We need to solve this puzzle. So it is quite easy just to follow what I am doing.
So now you can see that uh, the bridge is now open. Go all the way across and pick up the lollipop. Before you give the lollipop, lollipop to the cup girl, you need to talk to her. Because she is also another person that we can talk to. But first interact upstairs with the, uh, with the next item. He explains us uh, what we need to do exactly. Now talk to the cup girl. Now give her from your bag the lollipop. She will drop an item that we need to use on the item from this person all the way to the left. As you can see we picked the item. This person will scare the bird and now we have only one uh, one thing left i don't know what to call it so i'm calling it a thing sorry guys um but use the item from cup cup girl to interact with the last item thing he now scared the last bird Pick up the spoon that we'll need for the trophy now in the next part and go all the way to the right just in front of this sign. So now move clockwise once. Now interact with the creature up, up upstairs and we got the trophy for collecting all creatures. Well, um, that is not entirely true. Uh, if it unlocked too early for me uh, and didn't for you, just uh, watch what I'm doing. I did click on every creature after that. Go anti-clockwise. Now go anti-clockwise once again. And now go clockwise. Also go once again clockwise. So now we have traveled from past to the future and uh, we got the trophy. That was one requirement. Go all the way to the left. We are now back at the same spot we came from. And you are here with captain. Talk to the captain. Uh, what I didn't do uh, is uh, immediately interacted with his ship to move left. So you can just... Uh, here is another creature, but if you got the trophy, you do, you, you do not need to click on creatures anymore. Click on the captain's ship to move left, so we can interact with the item. Pick up the item. Now, go upstairs. You need to have a fight with the spoon, uh, with that uh, creature upstairs. And he needs to fall inside the water. That is why it was important for captain to move to the left. So now, uh, take a spoon from your inventory, give it to the... Uh, interact with the creature, or give it to the girl. And you will have a fight where he will fall inside the water and you will get the trophy. Bulk. So, he is now back. Uh, we need to uh, again uh, interact with the captain ship to move to the right. 
again do a fight with the pirate so he can fall inside the ship. Great. So now you need to go inside the portal. Talk two times to the guy on the very end of the cliff. The second time you in, uh, talk to him. But first you need to move captain's ship to the left. So he can fall inside the ship. He will now scare him, you will now scare him and he will fall. So interact with the portal. Interact with the person here. He said he needs a bird, so you know what to do. Go interact with the portal and go on the other side. And this guy here is a pain in the ass. So just uh, as the sequence before, uh, when you needed to shoot those birds, uh, here you need to practice. Here you need to practice. Uh, I will explain uh, what you need to do, but uh, I, I don't think it will be very much useful to you. So uh, you need to hypnotize him. Uh, and then when he is hypnotized, he'll fall inside the boat. Turn, anti -clo uh, uh, turn clockwise uh, and uh, you will see a shadow, as you can see now. You need to uh, connect shadow with the lollipop, I think. Uh, so it moves in the same direction without any... Uh, missing dynamic so if you are having trouble just you need, just need to try uh, and uh, get the right moment once you did it the puzzle will automatically end uh, he'll get the hypnotized eyes and he will fall down inside the ship also for every question i am always available in comments if it is uh, uh, something that i didn't explain very well please contact me now interact with the captain's ship to go right. Now go all the way down and scare the bird. Now you will have a little mini game with the bird uh, that you need to chase her all the way until she goes to the last pirate. So now he has fallen also inside the ship. Now captain will throw a medallion. So go all the way back where the bird was and pick up the medallion. Interact with the portal. Go all the way to the right. Now interact and give the medallion to the creature, flying creature with, with the wings on the tree. He will drop the key. And you need to use that key on a keyhole on the right side. But first pick up the flower to the left. Go 
you will get a cup of coffee, pick it up. Speed, uh, the time, we'll go backwards in time, pardon, anti-clockwise, and give the coffee, cup of coffee to the creature. And this will end this chapter. See you in the next one. If you are still here and watching this walkthrough, I want to thank you, I am very proud of you. So interact on the tree uh, with another creature, not needed if you got the trophy, but just to be careful, talk to the person here, he says he has some trouble with sleeping, so you need to make uh, those people in, in front of uh, him to sleep, so just click on them until they have their eyes closed. He will then fall asleep and you can now pick up uh, the item on top of him. So when they are asleep, he is going to sleep, climb on the boxes and pick the item. Go all the way down. Now you need to uh, go all the way to the right. Here interact with everything that you can uh, see, every creature if you, if you see any, if you didn't get a trophy, but main thing talk to the person above the lift, he will say what he needs, but we already have that. Take up, take the torch and give him now that item that we have picked previously. So now you will be able to uh, travel by lift. So uh, now what you want to do is interact with this creature here. Get another card if you didn't get the trophy. And uh, we are going to we are going to go back. Now, there are a few things that we need to do here, besides trophy and story progression. So we need to hear every song from these people here. So click uh, once, every, uh, once on every person here, for the first time. Now again, click on the first person once, second, then on third person, and all the way to the end. And then one last time you need to click oh already we got the trophy okay i think that we need to do one more listening so take up the torch from your bag and you need to light, light up those uh, beacons in front of the wolf the ice will melt down and uh, he will be freed and he will be uh, we will be able to solve the puzzle in the next room. After freeing him, go all the way to the next room.
Now here first thing that we want to do is earn another trophy. So go to the lift and go down. Leave the wolf with the sheep alone and what happens? He eats her. Okay. Post select trophy. Let them eat. And now go all the way. <laughs> go all the way back. Uh, so this is a really easy puzzle uh, but just a little bit long one uh, make yourself into cubus pick up the ship go all the way down now put the ship on the platform that you can uh, other pl platforms are still not obtainable so take the lift all the way down now turn on every switch here doesn't matter the order and that will enable uh, enable you to put other uh, puzzle pieces on their rightful place. So we are going all the way up and we are going to pick up the wolf and we are going to put the wolf on his place. Now pick the ship. Go all the way up. Put the ship back where she, where she was before. Pick up the carrot and put it on the carrot place. Go back, pick up the sheep, uh, go back all the way down. You need to uh, close the wolf. First and third switch. Now we need to go all the way up and pick up the carrot. Put the, put the carrot back in its place pick up the ship and put the ship on the ship place. After ship is on its place, go down and interact with the middle switch. Now go all the way up and pick up the carrot, put it on the place and you are done with this puzzle. So in this section, uh, you need to turn yourself from Cubus to Little Girl and let yourself be hit by rocks. After the rocks throw you down, talk to the person to the right and interact with the icicle in front of that person. Now interact with the button to the left, it will lift you up. Now you need to cross 
to the other side without being hit by the rock, so just perfect timing. And this is, uh, we need to make a right symbol here. So we need here, uh, we, we here need to have a symbol of mouse. Now go all the way up and go up on the first icicle. Now open your inventory and put the second icicle inside your inside this hole. When you do that, go up on the second icicle and uh, pick up the first icicle before. Uh, be aware, controls a little bit finicky. Uh, I, I, I also wasted a lot of time on uh, that controls. So just be patient and find the right spot uh, to pick the icicle. You need to go all the way to the top and uh, switch the icon to the moose or deer uh, or deer and i will show you in the next in uh, in the next uh, few minutes where you can find the right answer if the puzzle is different for you but i don't think it is it is the same for everyone i think Go all the way down and uh, interact with the uh, hole in the uh, hole just below the pillar. Now, once up, uh, turn yourself into Cubus and pick up this stone and put it on the left, on the stone to the left. When you pick it, you can see now uh, what is the right answer here. Now put it up and uh, turn yourself back into the little girl and uh, go up. Now interact with this board uh, three times and you will open the door. Now go all the way down, interact with the door and we are done with the chapter.
Now interact with the chopper. To get another dialogue. Go all the way to the right. And we are now going to have a lot of serious and uh, tough puzzles. I will do my best to explain them. So now what you want to do is interact with this hole to go up and interact with the place where the machine before was. And just follow me what I am doing in, uh, in the position, the mirrors in the right position as I do. And you will uh, go uh, finish this puzzle without any problems. So this next part is uh, not that hard as it is uh, very precise and uh, it, uh, there is no room for mistakes. So uh, first uh, you need to do that three times. As you can see a uh, crab down there is uh, in cage with three weights that are weighing down. Uh, you need to position the icon on the right place uh, very carefully. So just watch the position that I am doing and uh, if you are uh, not getting the solution uh, you need to just go and correct sometimes. It is a lot finicky and a lot precise. You will see that I did a lot of times uh, go and uh, just uh, uh, fine adjust it. So for the first one, uh, the solution is this. You can see the right solution on every panel. So we are now uh, solving the left panel here, uh, left from the crab. And you can see that uh, the one is up, uh, the bigger one uh, from the side is also up, but uh, the one to the right end up is all the way to the right so you you can just watch the wheels uh, around the crab so you know how to position yourself and that is basically it
So once done, crab is going to be free. Now interact with the hole and we need to go all the way to the right. Now interact with the creature here if you didn't get the trophy. Now when you interact with the person in the middle, that is going to be the last person in the game. And you will get the trophy for that. 88% of the progress. We are almost near the end. So first a little, uh, a couple of easy puzzles now. Uh, you need to interact with this machine. So here you need to cut the strings that are glowing. So no too much philosophy here. Just cut the yellow ones and you will be good. Here you want to interact with the wheel and put the, you will automatically put the wheel up. So now interact with the machine to the left and you need to solve the puzzle. I will now just provide you uh, the solution because uh, uh, this is a random uh, and it is not the same for everybody. Uh, it may be different for you, but you just need to choose the right cogs uh, and make them all uh, to spin. As you can see now, uh, I had only one left, uh, and when I put that one, all they, all of them are going to spin, and uh, you will finish the puzzle automatically. You need to do that two times, and you will be good. I provided the solution only for the first one. The second one on the right side now is completely uh, done. So if you have the same ones, you will be you, you you can easily just follow. And we are done. This guy is free. He goes all the way back to the starting position. We need to go all the way to the left. And now we need to go again all the way to the left. First we go down.
So here you can now see that we have a space that we can interact with uh, but we couldn't interact before just down below and that is our last puzzle in the game guys last puzzle in the games in the game so yeah uh, almost at the end first turn yourself to cubus interact with the uh, with the wheel you need to fill this bucket now you need to go first and pick, pick the far one pick it up and place it on the in the middle to the right on here uh, let me explain what you need to do here as you can see balloon on, on this balloon is a radio uh, on balloon is a clear sign of four uh, you need to have four liters of gas so the balloon can explode uh, and we need to do exactly the number four uh, and that is what we are doing so as you can see what i did here i placed the big one here filled the little one now place the little one on fire and it will suck it uh, immediately so we are now on the big one on level two so go all the way to the starting position from the big one and place the little one on that place no i'm doing something something wrong i think yes 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 i have miscalculated myself just put the little one here now drain the big one put the big one back on the starting position interact with the wheel to fill it up And as you can see the little one is on the second mark so put the big one back where we can drain him it will drain only one uh, one uh, one part of the bucket and you will have exactly number four now Take the big bucket and place it on the stove where we can drain it and the balloon will automatically go up with the radio. So you need to go all the way up to finish the game. So now take the radio and place it on the chopper to get another trophy. Amazing. Now go inside the chopper, uh, chopper <laughs> sorry, chopper and shoot the black demon that is attacking your home. And you are going to get your platinum uh, or 1000 g uh, so i just want to uh, say if this guide was helpful to you guys i would really appreciate if you just like this video share or even if you can subscribe to my channel it would help me a lot to get more games and to get uh, more guides out for you guys thank you for watching uh, if you watched all the way until the end i i really thank you uh, so that way i know that my uh, all my trouble was not for nothing. Thank you and see you in my next guide. Goodbye.